Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Be a Jerk, The Wolf Among Us. This is um, going to be episode, I want to say, 8 of the Jerk series, I think? Maybe? Maybe? Yeah. So, we're just finishing up the third episode of the game, which is called A Crooked Mile. This is going to be the last episode. It might be a little bit on the longer side, just so we can tie it up. And also... Uh, as another warning, I'm in kind of a weird mood, so I can't guarantee that I'll be keeping my swearing as under control as I usually do. I don't know. We'll see. It won't be on purpose if I do end up swearing a bunch. I mean, <laughs> but I am just in the weirdest mood. Oh well. Um, so, let's just go ahead and pick up exactly where we left off, which is somewhere. I think it's where we left off in the first game to yep so we're heading on down to the trip trap and we have already been over to cranes we've got 45 minutes left <laughs> we're just gonna let them finish talking He's asleep, you fucking idiot. well we could be jerks um let's try it <laughs> didn't work. We're in pain. I'm like, ow, my friggin' arm. Hey, buddy. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. His arm can't hurt because we took it off. Come on in, buddy. Maybe he has that phantom limb pain, though. That must suck. Grant, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? It's gonna go with uh I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Mm. Gren, come on. Sit down over here. What the yeah, fuck, Gren. Man? I'm in a good goddamn mood. Why is he in a good mood? All take advantage. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I said this last time, but is this I literally the drink. only song that ever plays Anybody on the radio here? <laughs> Maybe it's maybe it's Grendel's favorite. To be fair, I can. Says, or what you if he's say. the only person here, usually besides Holly and maybe Woody, it's understandable that Grant, he would want to play the same stuff. Shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Yeah. Um, is that stuff supposed to be here? Or? Yes. No, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back. Won't be able to wake her. Really? Don't be so sure. The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, <laughs> very nice high. It's good to hear, Gren. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? You're gonna just stay quiet. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah, yeah, I would just Word say so. There. <laughs> Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. It helped enough. Friend, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Right now, I couldn't give a shit what you think. He couldn't. No. no. Well, I can tell. Maybe it's because he hasn't eaten anything. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. That all is very us. gregarious but and uh, one thing. big but of him to do that. <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's <laughs> probably because he's you, okay? super high. I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. No. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. 
I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. Just wanna hear what he says. And we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. <laughs> just a look of surprise on Grant's face. We'll help you. I'm in my happy place right now, Wolf. Pump the brakes, will you? Mm. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times are you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not I my I guess he's not mother. in his happy so place just get anymore. Off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. Oh, no. Now, children. <laughs> I just love how Bigby makes a huge what show. Want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. We're gonna stay out of it. It's not our business. We don't care. We just want to know where to get the stuff. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. Which what must have been pretty terrible. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's then you two it. can now finish your argument and then we can get on with doing what we got to do here. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever mm. he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Just get out of here, Woody. Yeah, just leave. Book it. Go. Don't give me that look. Don't even... Think I'm afraid of you. Gren. You're an asshole. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. You're such a waste of fucking... Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? I guess so. What a fucking day. Boom. <laughs> he won't remember this. I'll make him remember. I'll recite every jerkish thing that he said back to him in my own jerkish voice. Just to really drive home how much of a dick we both are. What can we do here? We can look at the cot. It's like, oh no, underneath is the stuff we need. Now how I did it before is I went to examine the alcohol. And that will get her to move. We're gonna touch her. Yeah, if you if you bump into the alcohol, it'll make her arm move because she'll wake up a little bit. We're just gonna go ahead and tap her, cause this Bigby doesn't really care if he woke her up, but we didn't. But he wouldn't care if he did. But we didn't. Is that you, Woody? No, not horrible. Woody. Is that you? I'm just here for Lily's things, Holly. Uh, go back to sleep. Big B. Bar's closed. Oh, see, this and is how she realizes it's us. Excuse me, but I'm hmm. not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. That's right. Okay. So we got 
few things we can look at. This bottle of wine. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You know, you make it hard to sometimes. Yeah, I know we do. Oh, that was supposed to be a burn. Okay, so there's ours. There's Nerissa, and there's Faith in the middle, and then presumably Lily on the right, and then you had D standing in the Why background like a fucking here? creeper. There's Came here to, here to investigate, investigate your sister's murder. I can't be any use to you. I'm just, I'm tracking a lead. Huh. Yeah. 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 Did I stutter? And we'll look at everything just so we cover all the bases. And the last thing is the book. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after it? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm shifting around. Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Because I feel like it. this job for a reason, or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for faith. Oh, at least you're honest. You <laughs> just remember, whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself, I'm counting on you. So okay. I have any more fuck ups. You don't. Fuck up, meanie. So yeah, last time I was in in the last part of this, and I, I hope I remember to edit in. Your glamour on this day. Um. One of these has to be the witch. Editing where I was talking about it. Greenleaf. I thought to myself, why don't they have cell phones? And I remembered this is like twenty five years oh, in the past. So like this took place in. Yeah, yeah. This took place. A very long time ago, in the 80s, so that's why they didn't have cell phones. They had cell phones, but they were not widely available, and they were huge, and they were extremely expensive. And the, f the fact that Bigby doesn't have a squad car as a sheriff. I told you not to worry. Um. Yeah. The fact that they can't afford a squad car for him and he has to take the cab. He's a friggin' sheriff and he's going around in a cab. So I think that's uh that's pretty Bigby. significant. I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number twenty three. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. We are late. Who's knows? This is it. Alright. How do you want to do this? Bust the door in, break some kneecaps. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't Breaking just kick it in. We don't know what's on the other side. I do. Let's just save the last resort for last. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. <laughs> we are so sorry. We didn't realize you were right there. Are you all Big right? did. He could smell her. The door. I, I wanted to. Where's Crane? Is he hiding in here? Has he left? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's I... all right. It's it's okay. Calm down. We're not here to hurt you. She says we're not. Are you sure? No. Yes, Mr. Wolf can get a bit excited sometimes. I think you mean That's awesome. Over with now, I assure you. No. Now, what's your name? Rachel. Who are who are you? Just so we're not strangers. I'm the big bad big <laughs> B. <laughs> wow. I I've heard about you. I know, I'm so cool. All about how the woodsman cut you open, fed you rocks for dinner, and then threw you into the ocean. And you can't even swim. Did it leave a scar? Can I see it? 
Are you and the woodsman friends? I heard somewhere that you guys are friends. But I mean, I wouldn't think you'd be friends after something like that. Look, short stack. We're in a bit of a hurry. Oh. Okay. What Mr. Wolf is trying to say is that we <laughs> came here for a very Snow is so confused right now. Oh, like I this exchange is bizarre. Is there um is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. We're looking for a man, a skinny, pale, nervous fella. Have you seen him? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. Do you That's go good to, to know, I guess. Sometimes. Is there something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Yeah, you can. Maybe come back in the morning. Well, this has all been thoroughly enlightening, but I'm still gonna have to search the apartment, so step aside, kid. Wait, please. See you, kid. I don't know if I'm oh, it's okay. Really. We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I'm gonna touch so many things. You're gonna touch all the things. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. <laughs> She's giving herself away there a little bit because um okay, Mr. Wolf. I'm gonna trust you not you know, to break anything. Yes, there are Get precocious me. children, but she is for way beyond the pale. Like <laughs> still be here. Let's all let's go put our fingers all over everything. Oh, there's a lamp back there. Have your mom. I wanna touch that lamp. <laughs> Go back. I want the lamp. 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 Fucking witches. <laughs> uh, let's go mess around with her record player. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. It's gonna Honky scratch up your records a little bit. Yeah. Come over here and fondle your deer skull. Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. So you don't mind if I pee in it? It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy, that's how we like it. <laughs> I guess that's a way of life there. Um, where's more of your crap that I can touch? No one's right. been over all night. So that's he's... nice. Here. There's no one here but me. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure that you are, in fact, a full grown woman who is Where just pretending to be place? a child. Delivered to Auntie Greenleaf from the butcher. The butcher. What's that? Is there going to be a butcher, baker, and candlestick maker? So like, is that going to be a butcher. thing? It's empty. Are we just referring to the um, Nothing that looks boss like in Diablo either. 3? Nothing. See. 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 Let's go talk to her. How much longer do you think it'll be? Until I figure out what's up. I can have my mom call you later or something. No. Um, all right, let's do go over like here. Broccoli? Not really. I love it. Hey, look, it's a tree. What is this? Mommy it's a tree, Big B. Jesus. Trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? No, I don't know. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. It's really I'm cheap here. and gross. Can I go Actually, to given now? his apartment, he probably Please. does not use cheap aftershave. He has busts of himself and oil paintings of himself. Is I'm pretty sure he uses a high quality no, aftershave. No, doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. Really though. Oh no, 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 no. Please, please, please just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. No, I'm Big gonna open not it. going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She yeah. checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. 
Just put it back exactly where it was, please. No. No, put it down. Please don't. This isn't what you think. You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise. It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> Could you telegraph it any more, lady? Well, sorry. What? Not sprightly enough? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. The more lying, the more ring around. She wasn't doing a very good job of lying, because in my first playthrough, I was like, yep, yeah, that's her. Over. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know right now. Alright, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from buying what I need from your gullet. <laughs> tell me where Crank is. Oh, I ain't a fortune teller, wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? Ha. You might want to check your facts on that. You are. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? You should be a lot more afraid of me than whatever horseshit you think will come back to bite. Horseshit. You have no idea what's going on, do you? No, that's why I'm asking okay, you, you, know you giant I turd. I think we've been more than that's mean. Don't call her that. This witch <laughs> has been selling April. illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a future. I love how Snow's tone just changes so much here. It's like every she snaps. To make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. Yes, no! we are. How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. Sucks to be you. Who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of it. Really? It's, it's problematic. At the very least, you they should I confiscate the tree and like stories. put it somewhere that's on lockdown before somebody would get to it. Whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. And very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff. But please, don't do this. Greenleaf Snow's right. The tree has to go. No, look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He mm -hmm. says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm thinking that he is under the impression that it's a frame job. Um, out of the putting in the putting in pie. Um. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Don't destroy it, please. Orders are orders. Okay, you can't just light a tree on fire like that, Big B. It's not. That's not how it works. <laughs> Doomed me. Do you know that? Yes. You illustrated that quite clearly with your impassioned speech about you saving your tree. And then you extinguished the only measure I have in this horrid world. Yeah, I know. What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? I have nothing. Nothing. You took everything from me! You might want to put nothing. that out before your apartment burns down. Snow doesn't give two fucks. 
<laughs> she really does. That's the saddest thing, though. I would feel really badly. She's mad. And I would also be very angry if I were in her situation. Snow must be feeling very, um... Well, she's obviously feeling invaded and, and having trouble just feeling as though she can get control again. So, that's completely reasonable that she's going through such a flurry of emotions right now. Do we get the option to hit him? Can we hit you? I want to hit you. There we go. Man. Tell me what you know now. <laughs> oh, nice snow. You can't just go in there. Watch us. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. Yes, yeah, so of course, now we know that he's in working in conjunction. We don't necessarily know for certain that he's working with them. I can't. Yeah. Oh my God. Make me. We, we know don't. that um, Georgie's working for someone. Um, Dee and Dom are obviously working for the crooked man who's got Bloody Mary working for him. Georgie might have been calling somebody different. We don't have an opportunity to find out right now. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. Just, just let me show you. <laughs> Sorry, it's yes. just like you have to just give me the chance. This will work. I assure you, everything will be solved. I don't even like people watching people get hurt, but just like I something about the timing of that you. cracked me up. I feel so mean when I play this. Please tell me who killed her. This is really pathetic. My lips are sealed. Why does the wallpaper look like intestines? <laughs> like, the wallpaper behind where Crane is, it looks yes. like it's decorated with bowels what? or something. How many years <clears throat> has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women. Okay, now not that angle, it was the other angle. Nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God. Are you all right? We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's that was. I just. I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and and I'm sorry. I'm not Prince Charming, okay? Yeah, things didn't sorry, work out with her I and Prince Charming. You and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Yes, Prince Charming, um, like he just said, cheated on Snow in this this universe. He cheated on Snow and he um, left her. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not. But we do know he took he the. Be brave enough. Not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward. We're just gonna let her talk. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to Shut up. Don't talk Kay. to me. Okay, okay. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money yeah, for so. his ambitions. That's one what was thing. I gonna say? But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? We're just yes, gonna let this play out. This... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? Oh yes, but so it's clear that from what he just said that he yeah, actually did take is. that picture. So presumably he was taking it home to use later if he was gonna like, you know, jack off to it or something. Know. I don't know. Okay. But if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, but I'm sorry, but who the hell did? The way he said that it kind of implied You know, when I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. I know, and I'm sorry, but if the killer's still out there, I want to know who it is. 
This whole thing is bigger than crap. Um, but yeah, what he said there where he said, you know, I know, but it indicates that he probably took that picture for himself. So I don't know if that was necessarily an initial part of the frame job. But of course, the fact that he did that was very convenient. I almost wonder if, like, the Crooked Man or Bloody Mary were framing him, but that doesn't make any sense because they were trying to keep this on the down low. Hmm. I do have my thoughts, like I said, about possibly, like, Rose Red or somebody else, but... I'm gonna have to, like, find out more. The right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Get up. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Yes. It's not about who's in charge. It's about doing your job. Oh, is it? What do you think? You have what it takes to run that office. You think I didn't make sacrifices? I don't think anybody has what it takes I to run that office by themselves. And I know that and Snow was doing stuff in the background, but I think it needs to be a much bigger, more visible endeavor. So the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Oh, okay. No. If I were you, I'd keep that trap of your shot. <laughs> Snow is so mad at us. <laughs> oh man. Police brutality. He's got a pointy nose too. That must kill. That must hurt so badly. Alright, so we're getting to the big the big showdown here. I'm shifting to my chair so I can get comfortable. Because I'm pretty sure you can fail this part. Stupid girls and preposterous schemes. What are you saying? Yeah, I think he thinks he's being framed by the actual um by the actual uh sex workers. I almost wonder if that could have something to do with it. Like I don't know. Yeah, I have thoughts on my theory, but I need, like, this this uh, episode has sort of, like, this episode of the game, this new installment has sort of, like, hasn't really shaken up the foundations of it or anything. I just need more information before I can plausibly come up with anything else. I don't think, we didn't learn a ton, like, a ton, a ton from this episode. It was, um, at least not, it, things were elucidated this episode as opposed to just learning brand new things for the most part, and that's okay. recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. She's pretty He's interesting character. He's high, 120 <laughs> odd pounds, pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? Did she know that? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Guys. Mm. Speak English. No. If I were you, I'd get out of the way. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. It is how this how works. This works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. No, oh my God. Official Fable Town business. Step aside. I think we're rubbing off on her. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why? <laughs> I love that she actually couldn't remember. It wasn't that she was trying to do it, like, to have some sort of dramatic, intimidating thing. She actually couldn't remember. <laughs> they find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. That little, uh, like to relax. face she made was this actually pretty job. funny. I like my job. That's nice. So think about what I'm gonna do to you. you have to love what you love <laughs> what you do. If you don't hand over the sock puppet now. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. 
She's like, you can just shut the fuck up. Fuck it. Hmm. We doing this? See, you dodge it and you still get shot. Yeah, that looks uncomfortable. But I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up. Big I'm going to mess you up. I'm going to kill you dead. Hold it down, or if I'm supposed to tap it. Hang on, let's see. It's gonna tell me to hit Q again to get up. So now I'm not sure if I should just hold it down. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Yep, just holding it down. Quit shooting me, you turds. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now you die, dude. We're gonna go ahead and... Waiting. Oh, okay. Oh, I did grab it. Yeah, hey. <laughs> See if he says anything. Nope, he's dead. Oh, wow, brutal. I did, I killed Tweedledum. She was loading up her gun with uh, silver bullets. You just didn't know when to end. It's not sharpening it. That's actually making it duller. Guess it's an all-purpose weapon. Congratulations, you found an amazing new life hack. Ah, oh, you're such an asshole. Such an asshole. No. Stop. Please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow. Uh, stay out of this. I love those old 1980s limousines. Oh, they kill me. They're so square. And rectangular and everything's all oh, rough edges. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Wow, Bigby is a mess. What a mess. Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended.
know? Not like your boyfriend. What a fucking asshole. Well, this is be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. I love that when they got sent here, they ended up with all these like psychopathic murderers and crap too coming with them, and all of these people, like most of these people, happen to be in positions of power, which afforded them a luxury lifestyle here, as well as uh, carte blanche to do whatever they want. So next time on Wolf Among Us, what's going to be different? Bigby looks messed up. Lucky to be alive. Apparently he only Lucky has one shirt. If he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. <laughs> yes, it what does. Talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. When people hear what you did to Dom... They're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Maybe in this instance that's better. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? No. Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? <laughs> Well, there we have it. Um, so, me and 18.1% of players decided to interrupt Snow's eulogy. 37% um, of us went to investigate Crane's place first. Remember, in my first playthrough, I went to Holly's. I actually find that when I went to Holly's and then went to Crane's, um, yeah, I missed out on the opportunity with Jack, but I got to go and really investigate thoroughly at, twe at D's and Dumb's. So that's, uh, it's really interesting. Whichever place you choose to go first, it opens up some, some other possibilities. I haven't done one where I go to D and Dumb's office first, so maybe I'll play through on my own and do that. Um, did you make a deal with Jax? You and 70.5% of players decided to make a deal. Um, offer fly capture a job. Uh, you and 3.5% of players did not offer a job to fly catcher. Did you burn green leaves tree? You and nineteen point or nineteen percent of players burned green leaves tree. I feel so badly about that. Um, Tweedledum. You and forty seven point two percent of players killed Tweedledum. Hmm. Oh geez. So, yeah, stuff. We're gonna skip that ending part because we've seen that already. We've seen the credits a million times. Um, let's go on and check it out the new. So our new achievement is that probably we've completed everything yes unlock all books of fables in episode three we did that there are only two more episodes chapter four yep yeah it goes up to we're going up to episode five so hopefully they're a little bit longer but i'm just looking forward to seeing how this story plays out. I also hope that they do sequels to this because I enjoyed it and since they're starting so much earlier before the series began there's a lot of uh, material to mine. Okay so what do we got here? Flycatcher the Frog Prince. The former prince, uh, a former prince turned into a frog by a witch. The friendly, genial flycatcher now carries the nickname as an unsubtle reference to his prosperity for catching, or propensity, excuse me, for catching and eating flies. His wife and their children were brutally murdered back in the homelands, a fact he attempts to deny to himself by committing to a series of endless tasks and janitorial duties. That's sad. Headless Horseman. Hey, buddy. The Hessian Spirit. Thought to be of the thought to be the spirit of a particularly fearsome, especially macabre German military contractor, the headless horseman lost his head from cannon fire during the Revo Revolutionary War. Most famous for hounding Ichabod Crane one night in the woods of Sleepy Hollow, it is rumored that this phantom is only the most recent incarnation of a primordial demon, whose previous forms include a middle-aged chieftain who brandished a whip, a whip made from bone excuse me, made from human bone, and a Scottish lord who was decapitated in a fight over shares of land. 
Um, we've already done that. Glamour tree, the last seed. Grown from a seed spirited away from her family's enchanted orchard, this tree is the sole remaining source of antique green leaves magical enchantments. Its bark is used for glamour tubes, its leaves are crushed for ointments and spells, and its twigs and sticks can be used as rods um, for a variety of entrancing purposes. Anything else? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, like I said, there's we got all this in the next one. And then the next one behind that. And then we'll be done with the game. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. When the next um, installment of the game comes out, it's probably... They're doing every other month now. So, June, I'm going to say. And... I look forward to seeing where this goes at some point. I'm like I said before, I'm planning on picking up the fables books and all of that and seeing if I if that helps me formulate any thoughts on it or anything. But yeah. So drop me a comment, say hey, and if you enjoyed this, please remember to give it a rating. And well, you know, give it a rating anyway, but if you you can dislike it if you want. Um, but uh, you know, if you enjoyed it, I'd love if you were to give it a share. It'd be very helpful. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!